Ceramic tiles are a popular choice for flooring, kitchen backsplashes, and bathroom walls. They can withstand humidity and won't absorb liquids or odors. They're also fireproof, fade resistant, and stain resistant. And no matter how much you walk on them, ceramic tiles never wear out. This factory specializes in wall tiles. Floor tiles are made using the same process, but with different materials. The starting material here is talc, a soft, powdery mineral. They blend it with four different powdered chemicals, the names of which are a company secret. The ingredients go into a mix until there is 6% water to 94% powder. The mixer runs for precisely 12 minutes. Any longer would heat the mixture and dry it out. The is now slightly damp and quite lumpy. A conveyor belt transports it to a grinder that mills it to a fine texture. This mixture is now ready to be formed into various models of tiles. The factory the uses fully automated a conveyor belts for square inch tiles, a standard wall tile size. A moving tray first deposits a batch of mixture into a mold. The mold's cavity is in the shape of six upside down tiles. A press descends, applying both heat and pressure. This compacts the mixture into the cavity, solidifying the shape. As the press rises, the mold automatically pops out the tiles. They roll off the machine onto a conveyor belt. The belt now flips the tiles right side up without breaking them, which is quite a feat considering that these yet to be baked tiles aren't fully hardened. The equipment is precision adjusted to handle the tiles gently at all production phases. A revolving brush now sweeps the tiles clean. Their surface must be free of dust and other contaminants for paint to adhere properly. The factory uses a water-based paint that's specifically designed for ceramics. It continually circulates in the vent, keeping the color well blended. The painting process resembles an automatic car wash. The tiles travel through four spray zones, each of which applies a thin coat of paint. Then they pass under powerful heating elements, which dry the paint in mere seconds. All that's left is to bake the tiles, which we'll see shortly. The fact ceramic mixture to produce these square border tiles. They look just like the other wall tiles, except that two of the sides are rounded. When you install a row of these border tiles above the regular tiles, the rounded edges produce a clean, finished look. While the factory uses the same painting process for boarding process as you just saw, is somewhat different. Rather than being fully automated, it requires some manual labor due to the tile's complex shape. That's why border tiles are often more expensive than regular tiles. When the tiles come out of the dryer, workers stack them on wooden racks. They load the racks onto mobile carts and then roll the carts into a gas-powered oven called a kiln. This factory's kiln is 190 feet long, longer than an Olympic-sized swimming pool, and large enough to bake 50,000 wall tiles at once. The firing, as it's called, takes 14 hours. Any sudden change in temperature could produce thermal shock and crack the tiles. So the kiln starts out at 390 degrees Fahrenheit, climbing gradually to a peak of 1970 degrees, then descends slowly back to the starting temperature. After a cooling period that lasts roughly an hour, the tiles come out. They're now fully hardened and ready to have their back to the wall.